That's what I was supposed to do. Punish the retard. Punish the retard. Fuck you, Corky. Fuck you. God hates Corkies. God hates Corkies. God is perfect. His creation is perfect. You're not perfect, Corky. You're a retard. So God hates you. Everyone hates you because you're a fucking retard. So don't live in the middle of nowhere, alone, isolated, broke. It's okay, because reasons are all connected psychically to the fucking other 8 billion people on the planet go after one person to destroy their fucking life because that fucking retard, that fucking quirky, said one thing the anonymous gods didn't like, well then that quirky deserves to suffer. You fucking, fucking fox. Not being an actor or a comedian, which I'm actually really, really, really good at. But no, it's to sit in the little tiny apartment and do nothing with my life. I know people who are schizophrenic. I'm not schizophrenic. Like some kind of bum. And as far as um, losing my mind, yes, I might be. Yes, I might be. <laughs> You know what? Maybe I am going insane. Maybe I am going insane. I should be on fucking stage, motherfuckers. I should be doing a fucking comedy show. I should be doing a fucking TV show. I should be a fucking actor in Hollywood. That's what I was supposed to do! Friend me. Turn me into a fucking felon. And then get a restraining order so I can't even talk about it publicly. Being told repeatedly by trolls and by a court to stay off the fucking YouTube, to not use my fucking God given right to free speech. Because magically, 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 remember, folks, it's all about magic. It's all about atheist magic, leftist magic. I don't have the right to free speech because I'm a quirky, a quirky, whatever the fuck a quirky is. What's a quirky? Well, a quirky is a retard. It's slang for retard. So you're a retard. Well, if I'm retarded, shouldn't they have empathy, understanding, and kindness? Shut up, retard. No, we get to fucking beat the retard down so it doesn't have any fucking people in its life so it can't make any money so it has to sit there in a fucking shitty apartment watching Netflix all day because it's not allowed to have life. Why? Because it's a retard! But it's okay for all these other people to do whatever they want and, you know, freedom of speech is a right for them, but for a retard it's a privilege. And if the retard says anything they don't like, punish the retard! Punish the retard! And they've decided my place is a shitty little apartment in the, in the middle of nowhere, fucking Nebraska. Not being an actor or a comedian, which I'm actually really, really, really good at! But no! It's to sit in the little tiny apartment and do nothing with my life. Why? Because they've decided it. Who are they? Well, they must be great and mighty gods. We've all decided. Everyone thinks. Remember, folks, all these fucking anonymous gods are telepathically linked with psychic fucking powers to every other person on the planet, all seven billion plus of them. And if you're not telepathically connected to all the other people in the universe and can't sit there and make a comment on YouTube and say, everybody already knows or everybody thinks, well, then you must be a fucking retard because all the good normal people who are allowed to succeed, allowed to have freedom of speech, <laughs> they're all telepathically connected atheists. Oh, it's magic. They're, they're very concerned about, you know, community policing. You know, they're very concerned about justice and very concerned about ethics. Yes, that, you know, and when they're going after the dark quirky, oh yes, then it's okay. It's okay. It's okay 
when an anonymous mob of super fucking gods all connected psychically to the fucking other 8 billion people on the planet go after one person to destroy their fucking life because that fucking retard that fucking quirky said one thing the anonymous gods didn't like. Well, then that quirky deserves to suffer. You fucking fucking fox. I should be on fucking stage, motherfuckers. I should be doing a fucking comedy show. I should be doing a fucking TV show. I should be a fucking actor in Hollywood. That's what I was supposed to do. Oh, oh. You know what? Maybe I am going insane. Maybe I am going insane. Why not go insane and publish? Why, you know, then, you know, people can see the slow, steady decline. 15 fucking years. 15 fucking years. It took you fuckers 15 fucking years. Happy Jesus and Salami Nugget. Uh, literally, literally on me since 2005. And Sean Goodbear. Or what a god, god or what? See, he even calls himself a god. He is Sean God Bear. <sighs> oh. The comedy videos you uploaded. <laughs> I could have had a fucking career. I could have had. Oh, really? A really fucking good life. Try I am with fucking dentures. Fucking shit. Fucking urinate. Fucking <clears throat> living like I'm a fucking ninety year old man. I actually thought. I actually, for God's sakes, thought that I could actually have a fucking friend. That I had a friend who was going to help me succeed in life. Because I knew how far behind the eight ball I was. From all the fucking child abuse and the bullying and the shit like that. I knew! But I thought, you know, I'm a good Christian. I'm a good person. God is going to help me. God is going to bring somebody into my life to help me make my life better. Fuck you, Corky! Fuck you! God hates Corkies! God hates Corkies! God is perfect! His creation is perfect! You're not perfect, Corky! You're a retard! So God hates you! Everyone hates you because you're a fucking retard! So don't live in the middle of nowhere! Alone! Isolated! Broke! It's okay because reasons! Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Just get over it. I make a joke about, you know, showing up to somebody's house or business and punching them in the fucking nose. <gasps> oh my god, call the FBI, the CIA, the NSA. Oh. I need a time machine so I can go back in time. And slap myself upside the head with a two by four so I don't fi sign forged documents. And then I let that fucking Tim talk me out of getting my teeth fixed, talk me out of getting a nose job. And the only reason that fucking Emilio Rosa wanted me in that goddamn movie was because he needed somebody who fucking looked like a retard. All I needed was truth and love. That's all I needed. I needed somebody to sit there and say, Nick, I care about you, but you need to get the nose job. I care about you, but you need to. I, I lived as a homeless person in Humboldt County. What the fuck was I thinking? Nobody stepped in. Not even my parents. I called them up. Please help me. We can't. We can't. We can't. I needed truth and love. Coleman syndrome does not have fucking schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is not the same thing as fucking 
uh, I don't have fucking schizophrenia. That's something that happens in the fucking, your fucking teens and 20s, you dumbasses. I know people who are schizophrenic. I'm not schizophrenic. Oh, he's a schizophrenic. He's crazy. He's a monster. He's an alcoholic. He's this. He's that. <laughs> if it's not true, why would it be on TV? Uh, uh, if it's on TV, it must be true. Uh. But the path for my life was creative expression. I've had nothing but obstacles of isolation and censorship by my own family, by complete strangers, doing everything they fucking can to shut me down, to silence me, to stop me. And I know it's an energy thing. I know it's an energy thing. Because I just feel sick all the time. And I'm trying to fucking heal. You too was supposed to be part of that healing. You too was supposed to be part of that healing. Religious studies is supposed to be part of that healing. Being an actor, a comedian, feeling like that's something worthwhile to share with people. That was my healing. And then adds insult to injury with this fucking legal shit. I showed it in the video yesterday. We're the kind of California. We're the superheroes of the day. We'll get a restraining order and threaten to put cocky in a cage. Yeah, because we are cocky. So I'm not even allowed to talk about it. I'm not even allowed to heal. I'm not even allowed to heal. I have to suffer the consequences of being a felon for the rest of my life. It's not like, oh, you're a felon, you did your time. It's a lifelong fucking, it's a life sentence. Doing this kind of thing on YouTube, you could accuse me of being histrionic or even borderline. You cannot accuse me of being a narcissist because a narcissist cares about their reputation would not be doing this on YouTube. I, he picked me up from the van to go work on doing demolition or something. He said, I'll pick you up at eight. I was like, okay. I'm getting ready to go to Starbucks. Starbucks is like not even a thousand feet. He shows up at 7.30. I'm not even finished dressing yet. He's like, hurry up, hurry up. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We're gonna be late, we're gonna be late. He's acting like there's people are gonna be there. He's acting like, I'm like, can we stop so I can get a coffee? I got money, blah, blah, blah. He's got his coffee. He's got his nice hot coffee. I can't function without coffee in the morning. Like some kind of bomb. YouTube! YouTube help us! And YouTube's just like, we're YouTube! We're your hero! We're your, we, we care about justice! But that's okay! Cause atheist reasons are... Keep the change, you filthy animal!